welcome this is big bob with an introduction to this week's travel video and this week it is wait for it wolverhampton before you click onto one of those suggested links i suggest you watch the first two minutes of this because it's got a subway in that you've you've got to see to believe it's one of the scariest places i've ever been so yeah wolverhampton travel video this has got to be one of the hardest things i've had to do uh i tried to seem enthusiastic because i know the town well but it's uh <laughs> this has been a tricky one anyway you have a look and uh, a quick thank you to the people who've uh on my on my channel there's a donation button and uh, people have been giving me a pound or two for uh for bus and train fare so i can keep these videos up so big thanks to you lot so um i feel like saying enjoy the video but uh give me a break just watch it anyway and uh and subscribe because my subscriber numbers are awful and uh people say how oh, we like you you're really funny uh which would be good if it was trying to be funny, but it's been unnerving when I'm actually trying to be funny. So anyway, have a watch. And uh, as we say, laters. Peace, man. Well, that's a subway I wouldn't like to do at one o'clock in the morning alone. That is, that's one scary subway. Didn't run off to put it in, but it's sort of, it's that unique. I had to. So I've come over to the, the Harley shop because I, I love to look at these uh, beautiful motorbikes. I used to be a biker and I really love one of these sort of bikes again. I don't think it happened because due to uh, being attacked, my knees are that bad that if I take a fall, I shan't walk again. But uh, it it doesn't hurt to have a look round. So I'll just wander in and have a look round. But the real reason I come here, and I don't know if you're supposed to really, you get three cups of coffee. I just sort of wander in and... Uh, Go and get a coffee and sit down and uh, look at the bikes and uh, people don't seem to bother me. I don't know why. They just uh, they just think, you know. Anyway, one of the staff did come over to check that uh, I wasn't doing anything that I shouldn't be doing. So I, I got them to 
to help me video it which uh, was probably a bit cheeky but I didn't uh, uh, a nice lady worked there for years and seemed quite happy to record uh, record me so after that, I went over and had a look at the, the Banks' place they've got this sort of uh, visitor centre now I didn't go in and uh, Banks' is the, the local drink of the the area it's Banks' is mild they did for ages try and uh, drop the mild because nobody drinks mild and they sort of tried to push the Banks' is bitter which nobody drinks uh, and after trying to drop the name and just calling it Banks's, I believe now it's back to Banks's Mild because that's what people drink. So, I know one pub, they've got one lager pool, one Banks's Bitter and five Banks's Mild pools. That's how popular it was. This is the sort of subway that Wolverhampton Council are trying to, the image they're trying to give. This is the one you go through to the the football ground that's the Wolverhampton Wanderers I don't know much about it so I'm not going to say it's uh it's sort of um loads of men come here to watch blokes running around getting sweaty just seems a bit sort of uh homoerotic to me but yeah each their own after the unit I did go to this university I was 45 and I, I sort of took a bit of time out and came to this uni and sort of did web design and uh, stuff like this which was completely pointless and you could never earn a, a wage at it uh, but I should have really done sort of video and stuff like that really seeing as I'm doing this now and then you wouldn't be watching this appalling the uh, filmed uh, sort of thing so I thought I'd just wander in and uh take a bit of footage for old time's sake uh, we were in the other building which we'll get a clip out later the sort of the arts block I did pick some stuff up here really but uh, to be honest the only one that was really stuck in my mind and my friend Jude who came with me was critical thinking how to see you know if you've ever done that one you'll know what i mean and we really didn't want to do that but they say every course has got this critical thinking and it that has stuck with me after that we come over to the church i don't know much about it um it's in the most informative sort of travel guide but uh this is what you get i'm sure there's some proper ones about or you can google it or whatever and get information I'm going to have a look inside now. This is uh, this is Lady Wolfram. I don't know anything about her either. I think she's uh, I think she owns the shopping centre, the other side of town. Might take a wander there, and uh, we'll have a look. But anyway, we'll go into the church and uh, have a look around at that, and uh, that kills a bit of time because my life is about killing time, and that's that's why I've started this. YouTube channel because I can't really see it's uh, not with this sort of quality of uh, videoing this is quite impressive this is um, you know with the stained glass windows it reminds me of the reminds a bit of that of a subway maybe it's sort of maybe this is sort of really religious people's graffiti art you know for the sort of well-to-do and that and uh, the God-fearing it's quite impressive though well you know i've been in cathedrals that are obviously a lot better but yeah i don't know if it, is this sort of old-fashioned graffiti art or that might be sacrilegious or something i don't know i'm not because i'm a jedi so i'm uh i'm not really up on other religions i'm not a i'm not really a believer but uh yeah while i was here even though I'm not a believer, I did sort of light a, light a candle, one for each of, uh, of my uh, children. And, uh, well, it doesn't, doesn't hurt to edge your bets, does it? You know, and uh, so light a candle each for those and put a little donation in. They did ask me to make a donation to film, but, uh, well, I haven't got any money, so I've got more than me. Now this is an iconic uh, spot in uh, Wolverhampton, the man on the horse. If you're going to meet in somebody in Wolverhampton, everybody just says, I'll meet you at the man in the horse. 
Youngsters now call it the MOF. It's an acronym, isn't it? But that a bit quicker than we were. We've spent years calling it the man on the horse. So we're a walk from the town now. Everybody's lost sort of Woolworths and um, British Arms stores and that. But we have now managed to lose KFC. KFC. You can't get KFC in town. Starbucks has gone and W8 Smiths. I mean, what sort of a, a town centre is that, really? So that's a bit impressive. Get the, uh, oh, and the people that tried to stop you here, you know. Can I ask you a question? Who do you get your electric from? As soon as I say, can I ask you a question? I'll say, Google it. And they go, what? I says, you've got a question. I said, do the same as I do, just put it in Google. Nearly always get the answer. And even though they think they're quick thinking, they've never really got a response to that. So remember that one. Can I ask you a question? Just tell them to Google it. And we're coming up now to, you know, that lady wolf from we, we met. This is why I think she owns this, uh, this shopping centre. Here we go. Here's another one. Yeah, brought my concentration. I was going to leave what I said there in it, but my editing's awful. So this is where I'll get all my clothes from. Quality class stuff here. Primark. So here we are. The Wolfram Centre. So I haven't researched this, but I presume it's that, that Lady Wolfram. I presume this is where she's made her money for that big statue. Now we're out to the market. They shut the old one and spent a fortune building this one. And it's just... I used to carry these containers up at Liverpool Docks. This cost a fortune to build. And I reckon Liverpool Dockers that I used to meet, they could build this in a, about three hours for about 50 quid. And yet we, we spent an absolute fortune on it. So I thought I'd take you for a, a walk around this market, which isn't doing that amazingly, and it's made the other side of town, where that really rough subway is, that's by the old market. It's made that area even even worse. Because our Wolverhampton Council, they waste money appalling you, uh, appallingly. Oh, yeah, council house go-karts. You'll see plenty of those in Wolverhampton. And that's a good thing for people who can't walk, but only people in council houses will, will use these. Your middle class, it doesn't matter how bad the legs are, they won't, they won't be seen dead in a buggy. It's same as vaping. They'd rather die of cancer than look like they, they come from working class area. We're up at Top Lock. We've got a staircase of uh, locks on the canal here, 21 in a row, and I've actually done them myself. A friend of mine, stay out me, took us all day to do 21 locks in a row, and it's hard work. Anybody who thinks canals and narrowboats are sort of leisurely, you've got the wrong impression. So, yeah, this is a couple of locks down, and uh, it's an all, place to, all right place to walk, but uh, it can be a bit dodgy. Um, you get the sort of get a few junkies under the bridge that's where they do the deal where they can't be seen but uh yeah i quite like the the, the narrow boats but uh we're going straight from here over to the park which is something that really annoys me about wolverhampton council we used to have a a really great show um once a year for two days they've been big extravaganza it was the same every year but it was something to be proud of Wolverhampton about, that they got this show and uh, they'd have a main arena, they'd have monster trucks on and cycle stunt teams and parachute jumping and, uh, well, oh, they had this horse riding um, used to be in the movies, they'd be there and a lot of people turned out and it was a good day out. You'd have this food from around the world. Um, things like you get a bit to eat, you'd sit in the sun watch the show it was a place to meet up with your your friends and family and have a have a free day out but then they had the cutbacks and they decided 
oh, that can go. Uh, they collect the same amount of money in, and they've laid off something like 20,000 people, and yet they can't afford this show. But they're still getting the same money, so why can't we have the show? It was one of the few things you could actually be proud about uh, Wolverhampton, was this, the Wolverhampton show. They've sort of, they've sold it off to some commercial bloke who does it somewhere else, and it's, I've never been. And I think uh, the big thing was everybody could come, it didn't matter how poor you were, you could come and enjoy this show. Even if you bought sandwiches or cans of pop from home, it was something for everybody. So that's something that really knocks me about the way this council's run. Uh, they don't care about the poor people. And it, it could be a good city, but, and I can't blame everything on the council, but they have got this, and I should have put it in, the, they've got this monstrosity of a council building. And I'm in a bit of a battle with them at the moment because I've got epilepsy. Um, I should be able to get a blue badge or at least to apply for it, but, uh, oh, the, the bureaucrats there, I actually spoke to um, my councillor, who was the uh, the ex-mayor, and it took him six months to get his father's blue badge renewed. And you can't, you go to the building, you just can't get to speak in to anybody. It's just, that a joke. Absolute. But this is a, it's a nice park. It's, uh, this is West Park. There's one the other side of town, East Park. Not quite as good, but... So there are some good places in Wolverhampton. Um, but it's not the greatest place. But I've been to worse. Like, you know, I've been on the road. Two million miles I've done. I've been to worse places in Wolverhampton. But, uh, and there's, em there's employment. You'll, you'll get work here. So, yeah, all in all... It's, uh, the video is what it is, and believe it or not, this is not the worst uh, travel video I've done. So, I think that's probably coming up to the end of it, so thank you for your viewing, and catch you another time. Peace, man. GoPro, stop recording.